Hello guys, today is a very quick tutorial about Grease Pencil, about a feature that is not so obvious. So I have this drawing here with a few layers and a few materials. I want to add a modifier. Let's add a noise modifier. You see here under influence you can choose a layer to be only affected by your noise modifier or you can hit this button here. To exclude the layer you entered here so all the layers are affected by the modifier except the layer that is here you can also let's delete this guy choose a material and also invert the selection but what if you want to add more layers let's delete this one let's say two layers to be affected and two to be excluded how to do that at first glance there is no way to do it but the way is to use this guy here the pass or the pass index if you give your layers for example these two layers uh, the same pass index you can make them be affected by this or invert the selection and exclude those two layers but how to give your layer a pass index so we should go here to object data properties choose your layer and then go here under relations yes and choose a pass index so let's give it a pass index of one Let's select another layer and give it a pass of one to back to the modifier change here to one and play you see that only those two layers are now affected you can invert it of course and have the opposite if you go to zero so we have these two with a pass index of one and these two with zero you may think that changing back to zero will affect only those two layers but no it affects all the layers so zero in our modifier means that all the layers are affected even if you change this so if you want to switch between those two layers you will have to give these other layers an index of for example two back to the modifier pass one these two layers and pass two these other two layers and there is something beautiful here is that you can keyframe this value here so this can be useful to change the behavior of your modifier during animation let's delete this keyframe top sheet now what about materials so let's change this back to zero let's check our material panel here for example let's say that i want to animate only these black strokes here so we can also change the pass index of a material let's go to the solid stroke and go here in the settings and change it to one back to the modifiers we change the pass here and the material to one and now you see that the black strokes are moving but with them you see that some colorful strokes are also moving that is because they are using the same material only i use vertex colors with some of them and the black stroke with others so here let's do a bonus tutorial to only make the black strokes be affected let's go to the layers panel here and you see i have this lines layer here but i have some black strokes also in the trunk that is because i can't have all the lines in the lines layer because they will overlap my paint and overlap the banana here and this eggplant here so i have some strokes in the trunk layer and i have some strokes in the vegetation layer what we need to do is to assign a new material to either the colorful strokes or the black strokes but since the colors enable overlays since the colorful strokes are so many as you can say they are very complex so the easiest way is to change the black strokes because they are few and easily selectable let's go to the vegetation layer here i've enabled auto lock active lay inactive layers so only this layer is active let's also hide the other layers so the view is less cluttered and let's select our strokes select this first stroke only one point from the first stroke and then hit shift select one point for the second one hit shift select one point of the third one hit shift select one point you see here we selected the sky instead of the black strokes so let's hit shift again and deselect just left click on it again to deselect it so here selected 
another click it is deselected nice and now select one vertice from the stroke again again and again and now let's hit L on the keyboard to select all the strokes you can't keep them just like this but I want to select them all just to see if I selected all my strokes very nice and now we go to the materials panel so this is the solid stroke and let's add a new material let's make it also solid stroke nice so we have two instances of the same material in this one we will hit this number here to make it unique okay very nice so we will name this block stroke and we name the initial one color stroke okay back to the black stroke and since we have our lines and only our lines selected in this layer we hit the assign button and now it is assigned the Zabel overlays and then you see if I hide this material I hide only the black strokes which means we did it with success okay in the top layer it is easier to do we are still in edit mode that's enable overlays we select everything everything is black and we go back here to black stroke and then assign very nice and we do the same to trunk layer hit L I think everything was selected every black stroke oh except this one is selected shift left click again L to our materials panel black stroke assign and now if we hide the black stroke you see that all the black strokes are hidden so all the black strokes are using the same material and the color strokes are using another material I think the index here in the color stroke we will put it back to zero and the black stroke has an index of one and now if we play our animation only the black strokes are affected by the modifier this drawing actually I didn't make it to use with the noise modifier but with the build modifier but in the build modifier and their influence I have only layers and I don't have materials it would have been nice very nice to be able to use this modifier with my strokes material I use the build to make the strokes and then once the strokes are finished I keyframe the pass and make it color the, the drawing next but sadly I have only the layers option so I will have to put the black strokes in separate layers and give them the same pass index to be able to make it work with my black strokes so this is what I did with a little of keyframing with the build modifier these strokes are not on the same layer I created two more layers for lines lines 1 and lines 2 and it starts with the first layer here the other lines layers are hidden and keyframed you see that there's a yellow square here so there is a keyframe here to hide these layers in my modifier I have the pass set on one and my first lines layer has a pass index of one the second one two and the third one three start delay is zero and frames 100 so during the first 100 frames the first layer is build and on frame 99 there is a keyframe in the delay and then on frame 100 delay changes to 100 to start all over again and the pass changes also from 99 from 1 to 2 so now we we'll start building the second lines layer and it starts here and it goes for 100 frames and then again in frame 199 there are keyframes here for the delay and for the pass and in frame 200 the delay changed to 200 and the pass index changed to 3 so that third layer starts building and because we have only a few lines and a few vertices in this layer we don't need 100 frames to build it so we change also the frames to just 30 in frame 200 and here we start building the third lines layer without all these keyframes everything will start building at the same time all the layers it's like three people are drawing with three pencils but here it's like it's one stroke at a time in fast motion <laughs> okay so this is it this may give you some ideas on how to use keyframing and pass index uh, to do various things this is the end of this video thank you for watching please check my gumroad check the files there 
every paid file there is attached to a tutorial so you may buy file to support the channel or do the tutorial to make your own thingy or do both and that will be ideal for me and maybe for you too thanks you thank you for watching and see you in another video peace